Welcome to St. Cecilia, where legends are made, not born. This is the mecca of basketball in Detroit. Uh, so many great players, and uh, as people know in Detroit, we had a lot of NBA players that come out of this city, but all of them passed through St. Cecilia. This all started uh, after the riots in 1967, uh, where kids was just looking for a place to play and Sam Washington opened the gym up. Started off with just his kids and uh, uh, he got involved with Dave Bing. At that time, Dave Bing was a, a top player for the Detroit Pistons and, uh, and one thing led to another and before you knew it, all of the NBA players, a lot of the Pistons started coming in and players from all over the city of Detroit would come here to play basketball. The parish was started 100 years ago, May 15, in 1921, at a roadside house, I guess we would call it a bar today, and Irish-German at the beginning. Then in the 1950s, it became more and more African-American, and today it's primarily an African-American parish. Father Ray Ellis and Sam Washington were the ones who actually created Cecilia-Ville. Cecilia-Ville means that Everyone who lives in this area is part of the parish, be you Catholic or Protestant or white or black or whatever. So it's the entire area is considered Ceciliaville. This gym didn't have air conditioning. And on a day when it was 80 degrees outside, it would be piping hot in here. You'd be sweating, but it didn't matter because it just added to you know what St. Cecilia was all about. But on the weekend, George Gervin would call in and let Sam know he's coming to town and the word would get out, the Ice Man's coming in, you know. Which meant that in the summertime and then on Sundays, this place was packed. I mean, there were cars galore and people were just packed in this building. The other big thing was when New York came in. You know, we had a tournament with New York players where Bernard King and all these guys came in and this place was jam-packed again to come in and watch those games, so. I mean, the main thing is it brought people back together. You know, we went through a race riot in 1967 you could come into this place and it was a melting pot. You know, Father Finnegan was here at St. Cecilia that particular time and he would always be here, especially when, you know, the championship game would be played. Uh, we would always have that photo right in the middle of St. Cecilia where, you know, Father Finnegan and Sam Washington would be right there in the photo to get the trophies out, you know, at the end. Places like this don't exist in the city anymore. Uh, we don't have anything. And it's amazing because you look at it and it's not a big place, there's no air condition, it's a small place and look what it did for the community. I mean, look at how many people get, took advantage of that. Look how many coaches found players in here, look how many players got scholarships out of here and look at how many relationships that were developed that lasted for years and years and years. It could be a place to bring all that back again and I think it can come back, but come back in a big and better way than what it was. You know, maybe this time around we'll have a little air conditioning in here. You know, maybe, 